Here we come to the first set of elevators at the G6 garage in Grandview, Ohio. Starting off with this one. I filmed these elevators back in 2016 actually. And if you want to see my original video of these, I will post a link in the description. Here we're at four. Down to. Oh, wait. Forgot something. There we go. <laughs> On the way back up, we'll get our cab view. Up to four. All right, let's get our cab view on the way up. Looks exactly like the elevators in the G8 garage. They're owned by the same people nationwide on these garages. Yep, looks pretty much the same. Even has, or this one doesn't have it, but the other ones have a little circle thing that's been painted over. Down to one. This time I remembered. Finish up our cab view. Here's your fixtures, exactly like the ones in the G8 garage. They are mad by the company, mad. They're not mad emotionally. <laughs> There's your uh, firefighter controls, indicators, this encrypt badge, emergency light, and that sign. Just like in the G8 garage. Send this up. I wonder whose bicycle that is over there. Let's call the other one down. The other one arrived at four. And this one's coming down. And here it is. Up to four. Someone's car is idling. That's the sound outside. Looks like someone taped something over the indicator or something at one point on this elevator. There is a third elevator here. Oh, ugh. That did not feel good. Anyway. Anyway, yeah, there's another elevator here that serves an extra floor, so I will show you guys that after I'm done filming this one. Here we are at floor uno. Back up to four. Here's the lantern. Get our cat view. Exactly like the other car and exactly like the ones in the G8 garage. This one does have the little circle thing that got painted over. I'm 
not going to ring the bell this time. I don't feel like it. Over a little bit. Yep. Indicator, fist and corrupt sign, emergency light, that sign again, firefighter's operation cabinet with all the controls, and your fixtures, which are mad. The company, that is. Okay. Here we are at the third elevator, and it's on one R, the extra floor. This is the extra floor, actually. It's just five stairs up. I'll show you. There's the elevator right there. Boom. There it is right here. But I'm going to call it from the first floor. It goes down at leveling speed. <laughs> the indicator already changed. Beeped. The motor's over there. Rear door. Lantern. Four. Four opens up over here. There is a nice view of downtown Columbus. Let me zoom in. Yep, there's downtown Columbus. Nice view. Let's go down before this thing decides to leave me. The firefighter sign got broken off. There's your down lantern for you. Go to floor one. And I will get a cab view about this on the way back up. Four again. Up lantern again. Here we are at the fourth floor. I forgot to get my cab view, didn't I? Sorry about that. Ah. Okay, here's our cab view. As you can see, this thing has two doors. Other than that, it looks pretty much the same as the other one, except these aren't black. The whole elevator's not black, just these things. Or if you're at one, there's your fixtures, they're mad. There's the indicator, your fist and crop logo, your emergency light, your sign that's on all these elevators at the garage, and your firefighter controls. And the video's not over yet because I'm going to show you guys what this elevator does when it goes up a floor that is only five steps above the current floor. Let's go. It gives the motor much less power. It's going up. I hit the button. The indicator already changed. It's going to beep. There it goes. Yeah. And it moves much slower. And there's a wreck again. Here we are. Goes at leveling speed. It says it's going up, but is it going to go up? 
no no it's not all right there goes and that's it